Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Submaster Reviews, and today I'm here to review the new Guy Ritchie film, King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. So King Arthur, Legend of the Sword was it's kind of an interesting film, because it was actually supposed to come out last year, but it's been constantly pushed back by Warner Brothers, and I was a little worried. I'm like, okay, are they not confident in their product, or are they just trying to dodge other bigger films? Because this film, as Warner Brothers stated, was meant to be the first installment of a six-movie franchise, and of course, as we all know, anyone who's been keeping up the box office for this film this weekend, I highly doubt that's going to happen. Which is a real shame, because I have to say, even though that King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, isn't that um, great of a film, fundamentally, it's a lot of fun. You have the Guy Ritchie banter, the editing's fast, it's quick, the characters are relatively likable, and he had some really, really creative action scenes, especially towards the third act. The first thing I want to go ahead and say about this movie is that the characters are actually pretty good. Charlie Hunnam plays Arthur, and he's really good in the film. He's charismatic, he has a very uh, gritty nature about himself. I just liked his portrayal of the character. I also like Jude Law as the main villain. He was actually pretty good, but I mean, he's Jude Law. What can you expect? He was creepy, he was everything you wanted to be, and just like that evil... Uh, Scar, Uncle. And then uh, Charlie Hunnam's band of friends and all the side characters that help him uh, on his little adventure to recapture his kingdom is actually, they're all pretty great. They're all funny, you can tell that all the actors are there, they have good chemistry off each other, and even though they're kind of underwritten, they still give the movie a relatively fun atmosphere. The editing is also really sharp in this film, at least for the second and third act. The first act, where this movie kind of introduces itself, it kind of gets a little choppy because things feel like they're missing, but honestly I think it's the way the film was edited because those gaps are uh, later revealed in the film, and that's just something that Guy Ritchie does constantly going to the present and back in terms of storytelling. It's, it's a little weird, but once you adjust your brain to it, you should be fine. Another thing, you guys know, Jonathan Gill, action guy here. This movie's action is actually really good. It's very artistic. It's almost like 300 mixed with uh, middle-aged fighting. It's really cool. It's very in-your-face. Uh, it doesn't always look 100% realistic, and honestly, it's not supposed to. It's supposed to look really cool and magical, and the art team did a great job of making that feel. So one of the things I really didn't like about this film, like I said previously, the first act is actually really messy. I kind of found it hard to figure out what's going on, and I think that maybe if the editing were a little bit better in that first segment, then it would have set up a better stage for the story. And, then, and don't get me wrong, the editing does improve about the film, but just through that first act, it was just really off, and I didn't understand why they needed to edit it that way. Another thing I want to go ahead and say about this film is that the characters are a little underwritten, aside from the main few. Everyone feels kind of like they're just there. There was one character in the movie that I'm assuming had a really big role in the original uh, King Arthur story, and that's not Merlin, by the way, because Merlin, spoiler alert, isn't in this movie. But hey, go figure, they're trying to make a franchise. But anyway, some of these characters just felt like they were in the film so they could act as plot devices and weren't giving any depth whatsoever. I was like, come on guys, really, as King Arthur, you want a deep story. We're not trying to go through horror movie tropes. That shouldn't be happening here. So overall, King Arthur Legend of the Sword was actually a surprisingly fun movie. Is it great? No. Is it a fun summer action movie? Yeah, I'd say so. It has Guy Ritchie's fingerprints all over this film. You can definitely tell that Guy Ritchie was definitely not restrained in terms of his direction at all. Um, and what we got was a very fun movie, and I'd like to see where this universe could go next, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen because this movie didn't make a lot of money. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and give King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, a 3 out of 5 stars. Now, what you guys were thinking is that high of a score, and I have to say, fundamentally, the film wasn't, it was okay, it was good, and it wasn't that great. It's kind of like Suicide Squad, in a way. Had That movie had a lot of great moments to it, and the characters were good, but just overall, um, it just was a little flawed, and it felt like it might have been a little bit of style over substance. So guys, how'd you like the review? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Please let us know in the comments. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our awesome channel if you haven't already done so. You can also buy our merch at cafepress.com forward slash stubmasters. I'm Jonathan from Stubmasters Reviews. Have an excellent day.